Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. So guys, today I create beautiful and abstract shape effect in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I show you my texture. See guys, that's my colorful texture. And second one, it's my oil paint texture. See, it's like a cloud effect, right? Guys, I use this texture for creating material. So I go to Photoshop and open and guys select your texture and open right okay see guys that's my colorful texture and now i create only some texture smaller so i take rectangle selection tool and create shape like this this one yeah and press ctrl j for selection and hide see guys i take this one selection right okay now create new effect actually new project and customize and guys web size i take 3000 and 3000 and size i use pixels and resolution 72 is good okay so create yes guys again i go to here and select your selection and drag and drop in new project Yes, go to in mid. Yes, and stretch this texture. So control T. Yes, and holding shift key and drag and drop. Actually stretch. Yes, and enter. Right guys, see that's my texture. And now again press control T and rotate. Yes, and set. Yes, right. Okay. So guys, again, press Ctrl T and actually Ctrl T and holding shift key like this, enter, go to in mid, yes, and more, guys, go to in mid, holding shift key, yes, enter. And now, again, guys, copy, press Ctrl J and drag and drop on here, yes, see guys. That's my selection. So little bit here. Yes. And again, only one pixels. Yes. Right. See guys, that's my selection. Actually, this is my material texture. Okay. So now, guys, I create seamless animation, actually seamless texture. So, how to create seamless texture. So select both layers, this one, layer one and layer one copy and merge. The shortcut command is control E. Yes, right. And again, select this rectangle selection tool and cut on mid, cut and press delete key. Yes, right guys, that's my half texture. And now guys copy, press control J. Yes, and press Ctrl T. Yeah, and holding Shift key and drag and drop. Actually, guys, that's not fit. So little bit check what is problem. Select the selection and delete this extra part. Yes, delete. Yeah, and guys, again, press Ctrl T and go on here. Yes, see guys, that's now it's seamless animation, actually seamless texture. See, right? Okay, so guys, again, merge this layer, press Ctrl E, merge and little bit create color correction. So use level, this one. The shortcut command guys, press Ctrl L like this control l like this and create a darkness go on here yes yeah right see guys that's my texture for material so go to file and save go on desktop create new folder like this and save Guys, again, I go to file and save as and this time use JPG sequencer, JPG. 
and save and okay okay so guys now my texture is finished see guys that's my texture material texture see right okay so guys go to cinema 4d and now i take torus and go to display select god shading lines yes and guys increase pipe radius i take like 80 and also increase ring segments like 200 and pipe segments increase i take like 150 is good yeah right okay so guys i create material so double click on here and open and go to color and guys apply texture go to in desktop here that's my texture and yes right and apply on torus see guys but guys that's not correct right it's not correct so now go to again texture here click on here and go to layer this one yes and press this layer key go to effect and use transform this one yeah and only change angle i take 90 degree yes guys like minus 90 yes yeah this one is much better right see okay so guys go to again color and copy this texture click and copy shader this one and go to luminance and texture paste shader same and guys brightness i take like 50 50 is good okay so guys important part go to displacement and same texture and paste shader yes and height i take 10 and sub poly displacement check and round geometry check and guys subdivision level i take 5 right see guys that's my texture and render preview yes see guys right it's render see it's really good it's my line closer and again render preview yes see guys that's really beautiful right i really like this effect okay so guys now my displacement texture is good height guys you can increase more height is depend on your work height strength is full okay so guys close and now rotate and twist so i take twist tool select this twist and mix child with torus yeah i select this twist and rotation b rotation i take 90 degree and fit to parent check yeah and angle change like this yes like 180 degree see guys right see that's my shape abstract okay so guys render preview yeah nice okay so guys all is good now i apply light so double click on here and use color uncheck reflection uncheck only select luminance and i apply sdri image sdri image guys you can download this sdri image from my website and open yes see right and brightness i take triple 300 percent and offset i take two blur offset i take two and brightness 300 percent so close and use sky apply on sky and right click on sky and use compositing tag and scene by camera uncheck that's it guys so now camera angle is good like this okay so guys go to render setting and effect and the occlusion maximum samp i take 256 accuracy i take 100 percent and second one i take cosec this one and third one i take global illumination and guys most important go to anti select best 
Yes, that's it guys. Okay, so guys, now I go to save this one. And guys, I create alpha. I don't need this black background. So alpha channel check. That's my transparency and format. I take PNG file. Yes, and guys, that's my save file path. Go to desktop and my folder is, that's my new folder and take any file name. Yes, and output, all is good, right? See guys, that's my setting, right? Format, I take PNG sequences and alpha channel check. That's it, so close and render. Okay, so guys, I already create render, I show you. Where is my renders? Here, see guys, that's my renders. It's PNG, right? Okay, so guys, now I change some settings on Photoshop. So select this, my image like this, this one, and open in Photoshop. Yes, see guys, that's my transparent background. And now I create background so i take holding control key and click on here that's my background layer and take black color and shortcut command is alt delete yes right okay so guys now use ellipse tool here and create new folder layer and color like this and holding alt key and delete yes right okay so guys blurness go to file and blur use glossian blur and increase blur radius like this yes and okay right okay so guys create new layer and this one and change color this time like i take purple dark blue and all delete yes and same go to filter blur and use glossian blur yes see guys that's my effect okay so guys also take some color correction so i go to here that's my brightness and contrast increase color brightness and also contrast yes and second one, I use vibrance. Yes. Saturation is good. Yeah. Right, guys? See. Okay. So now, last one. Guys, I apply optical flare, glowish effect. So, I have some optical lights, optical flare. This one, apply on Photoshop. Yes and go to down yes go on here that's really beautiful and last one apply more lights like this apply on here yes enter and last you can apply more okay that's not good Yeah, great. Right, guys, see, that's my optical flare lights. See, okay, so guys, that's it. It's my abstract shape effect is complete. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys.